This is Info Live TV headline news, August 7th. I'm Daniel Ben Nun. Two additional United States naval aircraft carriers are heading to the Gulf and the Red Sea, according to the Kuwait Times newspaper. The United States Navy would neither confirm nor deny that the carriers were en route due to what a U.S. Navy spokesman called a force protection policy. Last month, over 15,000 naval personnel from four countries participated in a joint task force exercise dubbed Operation Brimstone and a possible preparation for a strike on Iran. A senior Egyptian security official said police discovered 20 underground tunnels under the Egypt-Gaza border. The official said that four smugglers were arrested early Thursday after a heavy exchange of gunfire with Egyptian forces in which three suspects and one policeman were injured. Egyptian sources said that the suspects were laying an 800-meter underground pipeline to ship fuel illegally into the Gaza Strip. Interior Minister Rani bar on threw his support behind Foreign Minister Tsipi Livni on Thursday in the race for the Kadima leadership. bar on added that he would have chosen Ahud Olmert to lead the party again had the Prime Minister decided to run. The two leading candidates vying to succeed Ahud Olmert as the leader of Kadima, Tsipi Livni and Shaul Mofaz, have been focusing their efforts in recent days on rallying the support of the party's leading members. The Olympic flame climbed the Great Wall on Thursday, an ascent shrouded in mist and laden with symbolism as it neared the end of its whirlwind trip around the world a day before the Games began. The crowd was showered with confetti as the torch was lit against the backdrop of the wall and the vast mountain range just outside of Beijing. The gala opening of the Games will be broadcasted live on Israel's television station at 3 p.m. local time on Friday. Legendary basketball coach Ralph Klein died on Thursday morning at Tel Shomer Sheva Medical Center. The 77-year-old, widely regarded as Israel's greatest basketball coach, had been battling with cancer in recent years. Klein's achievements included guiding Maccabi Tel Aviv to the European Championship title in the 1976-77 season and coaching the Israeli national team to second place in the European Championship in 1979. Klein's funeral procession will begin at the Nokia Arena on Friday at 10.30 a.m. Thank you for watching InfoLive TV, Israel's only internet television network that broadcasts in four languages from Jerusalem to the world.